During emergencies, malnutrition, disease and death rates among children under 5 are greater than for any other age group. The younger the child, the higher the risk. How a baby is fed and cared for is critical to their well-being and survival. By providing energy, nutrients and antibodies to fight infections, breastfeeding is a shield that protects and saves lives during the vulnerable first years of life, especially in emergencies. But not all mothers find breastfeeding easy, and many need support. In emergencies, when the benefits of breast milk are even more vital, mothers can be especially stressed, dehydrated, exhausted, hungry or sick. Without appropriate support and advice, caregivers in emergencies can resort to unsafe feeding practices, such as introducing infant formula or other breast milk substitutes, particularly if these are being distributed to everyone without assessment. This disrupts breastfeeding and lowers breast milk production, increasing vulnerability to disease and malnutrition. These risks are even greater when there are constraints on the basic resources necessary for hygienic preparation and can make artificial feeding very dangerous during emergencies. Infant and young child feeding in emergencies programs aim to support caregivers to adopt globally recommended practices which are life-saving, particularly in emergencies. These include breastfeeding within the first hour of birth, exclusively breastfeeding for the first six months of life, continuing breastfeeding up to two years of age and beyond with the introduction of hygienically prepared complementary foods after six months, taking care to add diverse foods at appropriate frequencies and in adequate quantities. You don't need to be a nutrition expert to have an impact. You can make a helpful difference for caregivers and their children by prioritizing pregnant and breastfeeding women to access shelter, food, water, healthcare, and protection services, never accepting donations of breast milk substitutes. If needed, they should be bought and handled by nutrition experts, reporting any untargeted distributions of infant formula, milk products, or bottles. Appropriate infant formula should only be discreetly provided after an assessment by a skilled worker accompanying caregivers to designated mother-baby areas. These are comfortable, safe and private spaces where mothers can receive support with feeding and caring for their babies. Referring non-breastfed infants and mothers reporting breastfeeding difficulties to IYCF services so that skilled counsellors can check the baby and provide potentially life-saving information and support to the caregiver. Encouraging mother and baby bonding and providing reassurance, encouragement and practical support can also improve maternal confidence. However, you should be mindful not to spread myths and misconceptions such as it's better to give formula if a mother isn't eating well, stress makes milk dry up, pregnant or tired mothers shouldn't breastfeed, babies under six months need water especially when it is hot, these are all untrue. Start helping today by sharing the message that breastfeeding offers babies the best chance of survival and good health.